Happy Sunday. Welcome to Talk It Football. My name is Justin Panic, And to kick off your football Sunday, we're going to talk about the three matchups that have me most excited for this football weekend and a storyline for each team that I'm going to be talking about. So to kick it off, the matchup that I am most excited to see and that I'm most excited to rewatch after Sunday's games is the Chargers and the Chiefs. The line on this game is Chiefs minus seven, which I think is pretty generous in terms of going to the Chiefs. I know the home team automatically gets three points, but I think that's pretty generous, especially considering Chargers offense, I think, is going to break out. And they've been bad on early downs. They've been bad on first down. Not the same team, not the same Justin Herbert that we saw last year, but I do think they're going to bounce back because you look at situationally how good Justin Herbert has been on third down and he's being forced into third and longs. I only think that it's eventually going to just catch up with them, that they're going to get better on first downs. And also, they've been really bad in the red zone. So the Chargers offense has been bad in the red zone, but the Chiefs defense has also been a bad red zone defense. Something has to give. So that's the storyline for this game. Chargers red zone offense, Chiefs red zone defense, something has got to give, something's got to break. This is going to be a good barometer, especially for the Chiefs defense. If they can kind of buckle down in the red zone, that's at least something good that they can do because certainly the Chiefs offense, they've held up their end of the bargain. They're the best offense in football. And then the Chiefs defense, they've been one of the worst defenses in football. So who's going to hold up their end of the bargain? Are we going to see the Justin Herbert return back to form? Or are we going to see Chiefs defense take a step up? Or are they just going to return back to their form, which has not been good? Excited to see how that game is going to play out. Second matchup that I am most looking forward to is the Seattle Seahawks at the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are plus two home underdogs, which I think that's a pretty fair line considering the Vikings are 0-2. The Seahawks are 1-1. But the headline for the Seattle Seahawks is week one, they played a bad quarterback. I'm sorry, Carson Wentz is not a good quarterback. Played a bad quarterback week one. They kind of had a close game in Indianapolis week uh, week one. And then week two, they played a much better quarterback in Ryan Tannehill. The defense looked bad. There was even a touchdown that was taken off the board because of a stupid Julio Jones, his heel touched out of bounds, but his foot was inbounds. It's very weird. But the Seahawks lost that game anyway, 33-30 at home. So what are they going to look like against a, a pretty good, solid offense in the Minnesota Vikings? What is that defense going to look like? Same thing with the Chiefs. Seahawks and the Chiefs are kind of very similar to each other. Their offenses have held up the end of the bargain. It's their defenses that are a little behind, and we all know Russell Wilson is going to take care of business. A lot of explosive plays on that offense. So what is that defense going to look like? Two weeks in a row where they're playing somewhat above-average quarterbacks. Not elite quarterbacks, but above-average quarterbacks. What is that defense going to look like? And the Minnesota. Minnesota Vikings are probably one of the most frustrating teams in the National Football League because their offense is so good, and their offense has been good for a little while, ever since they got Kirk Cousins, especially the last two seasons. Their offense is somewhat good, and their defense is bad. Last year, they had the excuse of the COVID opt-outs, but now Mike Zimmer's a defensive coach, and he does not have this defense intact at all. I mean, they're 0-2, and if they drop to 0-3, Mike Zimmer could be one of the first head coaches gone from this NFL season, which is crazy to say, but he's had a lot of opportunities and not a lot of postseason success. So I'm rooting for the Vikings because they're a fun team, but they're also one of the most frustrating teams in the National Football League. So can they get it together? And also Dalvin Cook is going to be out too. So I gave you two storylines there. So for the final game, we are going to go to... Monday Night Football with the Philadelphia Eagles visiting Arlington, Texas, and the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys are three-and-a-half-point home favorites, which that is a kind of a fine line. But, you know, really, you consider Cowboys are home. Home team automatically gets three points. Half point if this was a neutral if this was a neutral site. And I don't blame the odds makers. This is a game where it's kind of scary. It's scary because the big storyline of this game, and I will even pin this on both teams, what are the Eagles gonna look like? And are the and are the Dallas Cowboys legit? There's freaky things that can happen in divisional games, especially in the NFC East and especially between Eagles, Cowboys. We've seen some wild and crazy games as the years have kind of gone on. So are the Eagles kind of here and you know they may not be a, a top tier team they may not win the NFC East but are they not just going to be a bottom dwelling team because Jalen Hurts has kind of looked a lot better and the defense has kind of looked solid to start the season and the, and the Dallas Cowboys their offenses looked really really good to start the season their defense had a nice bounce back game against the Chargers so what is that unit going to look like what is that team going to look like 
and it's going to be on prime time for everybody to see in Dallas, and I always find the games are a little bit more crazy and a little bit more fun when they're in Dallas versus when they're in Philly. So there you go. Those are the games that I'm most looking forward to this football weekend. I hope you enjoy whatever football games you watch. I hope any any of your favorite teams win, besides if you're uh, the Atlanta Falcons, because I'm a Giants fan, and then also I hope the, the Cowboys and the Eagles tie, because I am a Giants fan as well. So, peace. Thanks for watching. See you next time.